hidden in the hills, camouflaged in the valleys throughout Eritrea, is a complex maze of underground workshops, supply dumps, garages, hospitals, schools and other support facilities. Many of them with their own supply of electricity from underground generators. It may look a bit Heath Robinson at times, but it works. This carpentry shop with its own machine saw produces 40 to 50 chairs a week. While an underground section nearby fits new stocks to capture or damage weapons. Down another valley, a metal workshop, where scrap is turned into anything from spoons to spare parts for vehicles. The remains of downed Ethiopian plains also provide a valuable source of material. Although they still depend to a certain extent on weapons supplied by Arab states such as Syria and Iraq, the EPLF has built up a useful stockpile of captured arms. 